it's the end of 2021 which means it's the end of year two leasing this truck which means i owe you an end of the year summary of all my earnings and take home and uh, explanation on repairs and all of that welcome to the channel i am keith the trucker and if you're new to the channel welcome on this channel you will find trucker vlogs fails and also gaming videos so hope you enjoy the content and keep on watching so let's get into it so what you're looking at is a uh, my end of the year summary this is the last summary for 2021 uh, basically my last settlement for 2021 so on this run I think I did in this week I think I did three runs so it started off started off in Georgia then I went to another part of Georgia then I went to uh, to Texas on this run I think I was coming off a of hometown on this run, so that's why it's kind of a short week for me. So, yeah, so I started at home, and then then I went to Texas. So, uh, loaded miles on this one was six ninety, at a rate of a dollar fifteen. The pay has gone up. The pay was a dollar five, as you know from last year, but recently, a couple months ago, the pay went up from a dollar five to a dollar fifteen. I get paid per mile, not percentage. We do offer percentage too. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but uh, I do make a dollar fifteen a mile now. So on this run, it would put me at seven ninety three for loaded and empty miles forty six at a rate of dollar fifteen, which is fifty two. The field surcharge that was paid to me was two fifty seven. I did two fill ups on this on this particular run. I ended up with six sixty three at the end of the first run. Now for the second run, I went from uh, one part of Texas to another part of Texas and then to North Carolina. So the loaded miles was 1,077 at a rate of $1.15, which was 12.38. Empty miles, 37 at a rate of $1.15 for 42. Field surcharge that was paid to me was 389. I did two fill-ups on this run also. And I ended up with 11.55 at the end of that run. Then for the third run, it was in some part of North Carolina to another part of North Carolina and then uh, to Atlanta. So the loaded miles on this one was 385. Once again, at a rate of a dollar 15 for 442. Empty miles 120 at a rate of a dollar 15 for 138. Field surcharge paid to me was 176. I did one fill up on this run and ended up with 497 at the end. Uh, next, we discussed the lease agreement. So the $700, 550 goes to the truck and then the remaining goes to the maintenance account. The insurances also changed uh, later this year. The insurance, uh, some of it went up, some of it went down. I'm not sure on the particulars about it, but the physical damage insurance is 27. Bailey trailer insurance is 14. Bobtail insurance is 670. Driver's legal plan is 298. Qualcomm rental fee $5. Occupational accident insurance $27. License plate rental fee $31 for a total of 813. Now coming off a of hometown. Let's say if I was already in the hole or something, which, which I'm not on this particular summary, but it has happened uh, throughout the year due to repairs and different things. So if I if I was in the hole, what would happen would, would be all of this would be taken out and then also half of whatever you whatever uh, weeks that you miss. So if I was missing one week, half of that week would come out of this check also so i would it would be the 813 would go up they would split the 700 and half and add it until you get caught up and everything breaks even again so at the end of this week i made uh i ran 23 a little bit over 2300 miles for 1500 uh, now on the year i did 134 trips for a little bit under 102,000 miles for uh, just a little bit under 108,000 uh, total pay for the year. 
and then you can see the rest of everything all the breakdown and everything how much was paid on the truck and maintenance agreement and everything fuel purchase fuel surcharge and everything uh the net this year is lower than what i would like to see but once again i had a lot of repairs and downtime this year so a lot of the numbers were thrown off this year the net amount was only 42 uh 445 so uh yeah it's okay but i'd rather see it a little bit higher so but a lot of that has to do with repairs so uh you can't really dictate repairs i was stuck in the hotel most of march well all of march and some of april i was stuck in the hotel and then i also got stuck for a week or two at a time on most of my repairs because i don't most of my repairs ended up being dealership fixes so I was stuck at the dealership usually between one to two weeks at a time on any given repair so that that's more downtime so it's just one of those things that I learn as I go but I did make it to the end of year two this is only a two-year lease so sometime this upcoming year I should be finishing with the lease if everything goes good uh but I, this is basically two calendar years. The reason why the lease is not over for those that are new to the lease purchase and everything, the reason why the lease is not over is because, you know, you take your home time and different things. So that time doesn't count towards your actual leasing time. So the lease, but the lease itself is a two-year agreement. So it should be finishing up hopefully sometime this year. But uh, so, yeah, that's basically my year two earnings. Uh well, second year leasing. I believe I've been trucking since November 2018, so that's like three, four years overall. Uh, so I'm just learning as I go on this leasing side of things. But as of right now, it's not impossible to do, but you definitely gotta gotta stay on top of things and stay after in order to to see your money and everything. But as of now, it's not it's not 100% impossible to do, but uh, it does take a lot of effort and it does take a lot of work. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then also before I go, because I always know it's a bunch of trolls in the comments. I do know that, yeah, I might not made as much as this person or that person, but everybody's lease settlement is going to be different. This is my particular lease settlement that I choose to share with you. And uh, yeah, take it for what it is. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you.